Should I put the big light? No, because then it's creating weird shadows. I don't like it. Ah! That's horrible. I just came back from my first modeling open call. Why? Why? Why, Myla? It was for Wilhelmina. It was number 1381. This is like relief. This is what relief looks like. Like I did it. I did something that made me nervous. My hand was like kind of shaking as I was handing the paper, but I don't think it was anything noticeable. But I'm glad that I'm nervous because being nervous means that you care. So that's what I'll just say to rectify that sort of. I just thought I would do a quick Q&A because I, it's so, it's so different with every single one. So it, what I'm saying today may not be the case for the next open call, for your open call, for their open call. Like it may not be transferable, but like generally so. Generally, sort of. I was expecting it to be a lot more hectic than it was. However, I believe that it was more seamless because it was in Orange County not LA County. So LA and New York, I saw, were both crazy. They were both nuts, nutty wild craziness. It just makes more sense that the Orange County one would be more seamless and laid back because that's just fitting for the area. And also, most of the modeling work is in LA, so if they have an LA, why wouldn't you go to the LA? I couldn't make it to the LA because it was my mom's birthday and we had a beautiful cottage core vibe party that I was planning and I was behind, but it wasn't my fault. So I remember when I was younger, I used to watch so many of these Q and A videos, just trying to understand the structure, what it was like, what to expect, what not to expect, what to do and what not to do. So I'm just gonna contribute to the community. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into what you really wanna know, which is how was it? What did you do? What happened? Let's do this. How did I find out about this? I found out about this on Instagram and it was really just super, super like lucky timing. But I saw Willie Scouts had posted an open casting call in Laguna Beach and I was like, whoa, you just had one in LA. I guess they're starting it up now. It's, I think after the pandemic, it had definitely halted for a minute and now I firmly see and believe that they're starting to, not all of them, but starting slowly but surely to open up and expand open calls again. They did have a height requirement and I was definitely intimidated by that. I felt like I was going somewhere that I shouldn't be. Like, oh, you don't belong here. Like, that's what my mind was telling me. And I was like, okay, you know what? Like, I can do this and I this is what I want to do and this may not be who I do it with but I should do this at least for the experience and so that's really what led it I wanted to do this for the experience the thought itself is so nerve-wracking that I'm already talking myself out of doing something that I love and you can't do something you love and actively work against it and I'm like it's look at all these hand expressions right now <laughs> like I'm really <laughs> next question what time did you show up? I'm gonna just preface this by saying, wow. I was watching some videos from New York and LA, and my gosh, it looked unreal. The amount of people that were in line for this, I mean, understandable, it's an amazing opportunity. Wow, so many people though. It's not at all like what I experienced today. I was very, I was, I was, what is the word? I had it easy. I had it easy today. I was in and out in less than an hour. That was with a line wrapping around the corner. The call time was 11 a.m. And on this casting call, they actually said specifically don't show up before 11 a.m. So I was already in my head like, oh, maybe it's not gonna be as crowded as other cities. Typically in casting calls, in open casting calls, especially for something as renowned as Wilhelmina, people can show up three to four hours in advance and the line will just be everywhere. Now the difference between Laguna Beach and New York, Laguna Beach is like, a side street compared to New York. It's the size is not at all comparable. So it makes sense that they're like, okay, look, we're gonna keep it condensed. I'd heard that the New York open call, they actually had to turn away people too. So I was kind of nervous about that. I didn't show up until 11.15. I was so lucky. Somebody left their parking spot right across the street. It was a very expedient process. So there was still quite a few people, nothing like LA or New York, but very, very fast and efficient. What we did, um, I waited in line for an hour and we got 
you saw, I took it off and I put it on my wall. I have like a little vision board accomplishments wall and I stuck it on my wall prematurely, but we had a sticker. I think mine was 1381. And uh, yeah, we all got stickers with numbers on it. I believe it was to label our paperwork because we got photos taken of us. And I think it's just to coordinate the paperwork with who you are and then your photos. So, it just so happened that 1380, the person standing in front of me, she was so nice and we was like such good vibes. So for the entire like 45-ish minutes that I was waiting in line, we were talking the entire time and it was so awesome, so pleasant. And that always makes situations like that more relaxing because it could be a very stressful environment or it could be a very relaxed environment. So I'm very happy that it was the latter. So what happened? After the 45 minutes, we, once we were nearing the front of the line, they would hand us a clipboard and they would say, fill it out. <laughs> they would tell us to fill it out. And basically what it was, it was a printed version of what their online application looks like. So your name, address, email, sizes, height, inseam, busts. There were a few people that brought uh, measuring tape with them and they were like, can you measure me? Like, can I, what is this measurement? It was like, oh, was, I loved it, honestly. I was like, yeah, we're, we're here. <laughs> it was at a place called The Shop, but the first part of the process, like casting process, audition process, was in the back, so it was like in the parking lot. So there was a tent set up and there was a woman sitting there with water bottles and papers and she said, first off, you're gonna walk. So you're gonna walk from wherever you are in line and then you're gonna walk straight to me. So it was kind of this like triangular shape. People were walking and then they'd stop and then they'd walk to her. That's what we did first, and then they said, once you get up there, everyone just say your name, your height, and where you're from. So say your name, height, where you're from, and then they'll just ask you a question about yourself. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, so don't worry too much if they do or don't. They were kind of speeding it up in the end, so it wasn't exactly the same as it was in the beginning. It was a little more quick. It was quicker paced because it was 12.20 when I finished, and they were, fin they were wrapping at once, and there was still quite a line so yeah so once we did our quick like info like she would watch us walk etc etc then we'd head inside and then there was someone in there with an iPhone it was inside of a clothing store but in front of one of the dressing rooms it was one of the cur like curtain dressing rooms so we would just stand in front of the curtain she took a full body uh, mid-length and then a close-up and then she's like you're good that was it and it was very seamless. I mean, the entire process typically in castings are not that long. It's really just that you wait longer than you actually are seen. It really was under probably three minutes that they even saw me, maybe even less, but I'm just, you know, three minutes is being generous. Um, but yeah, it was really great and had a little, I walked outside a little bit longer um, with the girl that I had been talking to, just walked her back to her car and by that time, like even though I was mostly just standing around, my like big toes, like under my big toes, TMI, oh my gosh, like they hurt so bad, like I could feel the skin being tugged. So it was such a relief to take off my boots. I, went back to my car and I was gonna stay at the beach for a bit but I'm wearing all black and as you saw in my outfit earlier dramatically so I'm wearing like full like heavy jeans love them love the outfit but it just you know I had like socks and sandals and it just like wasn't it wasn't a beach vibe so I was like okay let me go home and change and now I'm home and then I did this and then I'm going to eat this believe it or not is water this is like the best it's I don't know if it's there's some it's infused with berries and then some sort of like mint. I don't know what kind of is, or if it might be mint or rosemary or like some sort of greens are infused in it. But yeah, that was pretty much, honestly, that was pretty much everything. So I just wanted to give a quick take on my experience and, oh, another thing, apparel. Um, I wore this cropped top that I typically wear for a, all of my modeling submissions. I wear them for my digitals and then you can kind of see like, uh, like this, so dramatic. <laughs> These are my jeans. I really literally could just lower the camera, but instead of doing that, I'm just gonna be extra. I'm wearing, <laughs> they're the 90s high rise curve love, straight leg jeans, love them so much. 
Though I don't know if it's that I like they're stretchy or if they're just a little baggy, but I really want like a straight leg, no like crinkle baggy type of jean, not one that suffocates me though either. So I'm gonna do a little, maybe I'll do a little try on video. I'm gonna go to Abercrombie one of these days and find another pair of jeans because these are so comfortable, but these are like comfy jeans. They're not like, I wasn't loving the idea of wearing them because I'm like, I want something that feels like a little more clean, sharp, like not so like scrunchy. And they are the curve loves, which I believe are just, just made to be stretchier because even though like, <clears throat> I am like the size that I am. Like my hips are a little bit like wider or, okay, I'm just gonna be frank. So like my butt, <laughs> my butt is like a little bit bigger. So like I've got small waist, but then like the my way my butt fits in the jeans that are smaller, it's like a little too tight. So I like the Curve Love because they just offer a little more stretch. Um, so that was that for apparel. And then I just got the jewelry simple. I have just been wearing gold jewelry for a long time now. I wore this um, bracelet. I love this one. It just feels so cute and so classy. And then I wore these earrings. I wear this initial necklace all the time. This, this, and this is all from Ana Luisa. And it's the longevity, the wear is great. It really lasts a long time. And this is from Greece. This is um, an evil eye ring. So to just protect you from negativity. So I wore this too. And then I brought my purse from Italy. So I just kind of like a lot of like mementos. If I look at it and I'm like, wait, you know, it just reminds you that you are not how you feel in the moment. There's a huge, great big world awaiting you. So that was that. So if you have any more questions, if I miss anything, please let me know. But I just wanted to make this video just to give an updated take on my on the experience, not just my experience, but the experience, and just reassure it's very simple, very low-key, like don't don't stress out, relax, breathe in, breathe out, and once you've done it, you've done it. So go conquer your fears, believe in yourself, and don't let numbers deter you from chasing your dreams. I will see you in my next video. Bye.